Hello everyone, and welcome back to this little world that we're in. Happy to happy to see you're back. Did you have a nice trip? <laughs> I, I, I know, I know, I know, I know how it works, but you know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, anyway, I got something I want to show you. Because uh, in the last episode, uh, there was something that I kind of just glanced over. And I didn't actually like explain it or talk too much about it because I thought I already had done that, but I realized I I had not. I had actually not done that. So, like first off, we have we have this bridge, which I've built a while back, uh, which I forgot to just mention. <laughs> I think I was doing I was doing like some other project, and then I was just, I just like forgot about it. But yes, I made this bridge. I think it's kind of nice. It's a nice bridge. It has like a, a slope. You can, if you have a boat, which I don't have, you can just like walk under it. Wait. Oh, <laughs> I just have my bones carrying them around. Oh well. If you have a boat, you can just go under it, which is cool. But yeah, so this is, this is my bridge. It's a bridge. And then over here, we have a tree farm. There's a tree farm. I made a tree farm. I made a tree farm back, back a while ago. And I think uh, the reason I think I forgot to mention that I had made this. Wait, I'm gonna torch. I want light. The reason I, th I think the reason why I forgot to actually mention this is because I was actually just gathering resources for another build. And like in my head, I'm just like so used to building farms and stuff for gathering resources that I forgot <laughs> that maybe that would be something that you, you'd you'd feel like yeah, I want to know about that. So. Now you know about that. There's a there's a farm that I built. I also built a bush farm so that I can get a lot of bush because <laughs> it's difficult to farm this. So I just like the way I done this is I just like made a trapdoor and put that there, which is nice because then I can put like light here and then I can like get a always get like a way to reach in here because these like grow just in like a three by three area. So then I can just like pop 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 pop. Pop, 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 Actually, I can show you. I can do it like this. One, two, three. I re just always have a reach. And then it, like, removes that first layer. And then I get saplings. Which is cool. Which is what I'm after. Uh, and then... See, like, I'm getting... Like, I'm getting so many bush saplings. Uh, but yeah, and then, the, like, the next row is just open up. Cause, and then I can just, like, get stuff from there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll put that there. And then I also made this farm. I don't quite know how these grow, because like in some sometimes they just kind of grow like this. They they just like be vibing, growing right next to each other. Sometimes they just don't, because this has been growing for like I haven't touched this for like four episodes now, and it's just like yeah, it hasn't grown completely. So I don't quite know how it works, but. But yeah, one thing that's kind of fun about this, this uh, farm thing, is I'm getting so many apples from it. <laughs> like, food is not a problem for me right now. Like, like apples aren't maybe the best of foods. Like, I, I think, like, bread maybe might be a bit better. I'm actually not quite sure. But I'm getting a lot of bread. What? No, apples. I'm getting, <laughs> getting a lot of apples from this. Like, there's, like, apples everywhere in this let's see minimap i don't want a minimap i want to zoom how do i zoom what's my zoom button wait i i was trying that last episode and it didn't work anyway there's like apples like everywhere i don't even know what i, I don't even know why i wanted to zoom uh, <laughs> never mind that but like yeah i'm i'm stocked on food like i have i have so much food i have so many apples uh, and that's that's very nice. One thing that I've also done since last time is I I got more 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 suggestions for mods, which is really nice to see. I really like that. And I I got from from Sweet Swy Noob Swy Noob six one six on on the YouTube platform. Uh, I got a, a bunch a bunch of cool mod suggestions, uh, and I picked out the ones that I thought was like the most matching with the current vibe we're going with like the survival kind of casual building stuff vibe uh so we have one recommendation which was 
Illumination, uh, which is like uh, like like if you know Minecraft's Optifine, is like holding like how you can ho have like the, hold a torch and it lights up the world. Um, so it's is that kind of thing. And then another one which is show wheeled items, which is like you know in Minecraft, if you hold an item, you can see it, <laughs> uh, which I don't think you could in my previous episodes because I didn't have this installed. But now. It's a bit slow, it takes a bit to update, but now you can see me holding what I'm actually holding. Oh, uh, let's see, what's the, right. That's pretty cool, right? I think, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, so you can hold my app, I can hold my app, I'll hold this. And if I hold a torch, it lights up. It's a bit, it doesn't update like super, it doesn't update completely in real time. It's, it's, it's a bit like an animation, it's a bit like, low frame rate I guess <laughs> but I think that's cool uh, that's that's very nice by the way thank you so much for all the support and nice comments on the last video uh, it's very nice to hear it's very nice to hear nice nice comments <laughs> surprise surprise uh, it's very nice uh, it's very appreciated as well uh, thank you very much um, I'm very happy that people be seem to be enjoying the videos I'm putting out uh, and that's that's yay that's a win in my book uh, so thank you very very much for for the nice comments and the support I think that's that's very nice I really like the comments now what's the what's the plan for this episode well uh, last time as you can probably tell from the fact that I'm carrying around my my own bones I died. Uh, I think it's the first time I died. Uh, I actually found another set of bones in a chest. I, I got... Wait, wait, I'm gonna show you. Like, right here. I There's just another piece of bones. And I cannot, for the life of me, remember when I actually died. I, I, I did not know I died. I, had, I, I have no recollection of having died previously in this world. Uh, here, however, there's evidence that I actually have, but like I said, I don't know when. So, if you're able to remember when I've actually died before, if the, it's in a video or if I mention it sometime, uh, do, do leave a comment about it, because I would love to know when I actually died, because I cannot remember it. But yeah, the reason this is relevant, the fact that I died uh, to our plans of the day, is that I'm thinking we could maybe build a little like shrine or a temple or a tomb or something go that has like a theme of not a theme of but like related to death and celebrating or remembering or celebrating death I guess showing being being like a person died I'ma respect them I'ma be nice and yes uh yeah I think that's that's I think that's a good plan. Because now I have two bones and I don't know where to put them, so it could be nice to have like an actual like burial place ground thing, uh, thing. Yeah. <laughs> now I have no idea where I'm gonna put this thing. Uh, I feel like that's a theme with these 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 videos. I I have an idea what to do, but I do not know where to do them. Actually, I think that one thing that could be nice is having it on like a mountain somewhere. But I don't really know whether there's like a good mountain. I'm I'm gonna just explore for a bit. I gotta say that like it is kind of nice just being able to like light up the place with this with this torch. Uh, <laughs> the what the fact that it's kind of nice the fact that I'm like walking around and it's making it less dark. What am I talking about? It's not. It's nice that I can carry the torch with me and it lights things up. Yes, that's what I wanted to say. That's it. it it's very nice. Ooh, little firefly, so cute. I like, I like firefly. Or is it a butterfly? I think it's a butterfly, not a firefly. Anyway, very cute, magnificent, very nice. <laughs> Damn, it got, it got very dark. Uh, wait, I do have a bed on me. <laughs> am I, am I just like, oh, I'm gonna put up a camp. Uh, and am I just sleep <laughs> ah good morning very nice uh that's that's a bit better uh let's see 
I'm thinking that somewhere around here could be kind of nice. Like, this is, like, a little bit in the forest. I must see. Is this... Where, is this, like, where I'm... Where I live? <laughs> I'm just walking on the treetops. Yes, cool. It is. Uh, this is where I live. Whoa, that's so dangerous. Wow, I'm such a daredevil. But yeah, <laughs> I think that this place, like, just up here, could be kind of nice. Because uh, then I... Ooh, a cave. I think that this place could be kind of nice, because it's kind of... There's a lot of forest. I think that creates a lot of ambience. Very nice, very nice. And then I could have it like have a path that kind of goes through the forest down 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 the stream gently wow I, what? <sighs> I can have just a little path that goes like from down there up here I think that wow bush I think that that's that's a plan I think that's pretty nice uh where did my torches go oh I put them out right uh yeah I think I think that that's Oh, bush. I think that that's the plan. Uh, I'm gonna like clear out and make a little plan template thing, and then we go with that. So, like, the thought process I'm having, like, when I make this path, uh, I'm just, I mean, I'm just like over here, just like digging, digging a path like here, is that I want to figure out, uh, like, the goal with it is to figure out kind of where I want this shrine place to actually be. Because I'm thinking, like, I don't want to have to walk too far. Uh, that's like one one concern I'm having. Like it would be, it would be nice to not have to like walk super far to anything around here. And I feel like uh, maybe even the person living here wouldn't want to walk too far either. So I'm trying to just like put myself in the shoes of those who like. I imagine would live here like I'm, I'm thinking uh, like a lot of the time when I'm like building stuff I'm thinking in a way like I'm telling a story of a sorts like so I'm asking questions like who lives here what how come this place looks like it does like why is there what, what how come there's paths that go there like if there's someone living here where would they want to go where where would they make what what kind of paths would they make uh, and what would they want to have like around in the like at the place that they live and this way I'm kind of getting a creating a world or an environment that may feels a lot more believable than if I was just like I'm just gonna build I want the thing I'm gonna build it like this kind of analysis and putting myself in the shoes of others helps me create a world that's more believable and yeah more believable so I've now made a path, uh, and this is how 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 it how the path be, the path be pathing like this. Wow, uh, like I'm thinking like one idea I had is like the people living here don't want to cut down too many trees, like they prefer kind of walking around the trees <laughs> instead of just cutting through them. There are some places where I like opened up a little bit. But other than that, I'm trying to like follow the the way the trees have been generated, I guess. Uh, yeah, we come through here, we come up here. Where do I go from here? Right. Oh, right. Uh, this is where I, this is kind of where it ends. <laughs> so my idea is that here uh, I will cut down some trees and then I will open up and create the temple, the thing. The, the thing that I want to build, I'm not exactly sure I was going to look yet, but I think I found a place for it now, at least. Uh, and I think that will I think that will look pretty cool. Um, I'm thinking that maybe I want to texture this a little bit, to have, like, add some other type of materials or whatever, but right now I think it's good enough to just have it cleared out a little bit. I can add more detail later. So, this is what I got. I cleared it out a bit. I think it looking it be looking nice. <laughs> um, I'm thinking that like I could my thought is like I could make it a lot bigger, like clearing out a lot more area. But I'm thinking that we don't maybe it doesn't want, want it to be too big. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but I'm thinking like it doesn't have to be too big. Uh, I might clear it out a bit so it becomes more like 
what's it called? Like more like a square, because uh, it would be nice to have some sort of symmetry going on, but I'm not quite sure. I'm thinking that what I want to do now is go get some stone and start trying to like just map out some sort of layout for this thing. Uh, and then if I notice that, oh, actually I want it to be a bit bigger, I can make it a bit bigger. But yeah, I'm gonna go get some stone. This tree feels like it's like in the way, so I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna remove it. I wanna be able to go straight here. And that's a lot better. <laughs> I now made a little... Oh, it's night. I did not realize it for game night. Anyway, I have now made a little... Uh, this, I made a border in stone, stone design, yay. Uh, right, yeah, I also got went and did get the stone. So, I'm thinking this kind of size works quite well. I might want to remove this tree, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, I think this size works really well. Uh, I'm thinking that we can, like, you enter like this, and then there's, it goes, like, up, like, like, here. And then there's some sort of, like, chamber or altar or something inside of here. Uh, I'm thinking that would look kind of cool. And then you can see it like coming from down here. You can see it quite well. Oh, maybe I actually want it to be like this. It'd be... So I think in this aligns way better down here, I think. Does it? Yeah, I think this is more, it's more even, something like that. And then you come up here. Yeah, I think something like this could be kind of nice. I'm not exactly sure how I want the design to be for this. Uh, so I'm gonna have to, fi so I'm gonna have to figure that out. But I'm thinking something like this would be nice. So I moved, moved it back so it's three because I'm thinking like it'll be easier to design something in center here if it's like the <laughs> center around one block. So I moved that back uh, and I, then I also flatted everything out to get a like better shape of how, better feel for how big this shape will actually be. And I'm, I'm happy with this. I think this is a good, good shape for things. Um, yeah, I think this is kind of a good size. Uh, so now I can sketch out some like more shape, more shape and stuff. So yeah, nice. Right. So here we have, here we have a little bit of a sketch out. I have done a little bit like adding a some simple roof, and then the this <laughs> like the wall framing kind of. And right, one thing I wanna wanna talk about a little bit is the concept of prototyping, um, and. Basically, what the way I use it and the way I interpret it is that like if you're trying to do something like whatever you're trying to do, if it's a maybe a Minecraft video, no, a Minecraft video for YouTube, could be a Minecraft video as well, but yeah, or a Minecraft build or something like that, uh, you have a specific goal, like oh, I want to build this thing. Now, either you could just go and immediately do it, but there's some problems with that. Or th there's some potential risks with that. For example, you might realize that either the scope of the project is way too big, so you don't have time, you don't have the resources, you don't have the resources that you need to actually complete it. Or you might realize that the idea that in your head was just absolutely great and that you're absolutely loud, in practice isn't actually something that you want. Like you might, for example, be like, oh, I really like I want to build this super cool game, a super cool building. But then when you start building, you realize it isn't, it isn't really it. And maybe you've done a lot of it, and then that becomes problematic. The idea of prototyping then is that you do a small portion uh, of the project you want to do, uh, of the goal you want to achieve, so that you just get a feel for it. Like you get a feel for how long will this actually take? Is do I like the way this is going? And things like that. So for example. Instead of just building, starting with like proper materials, like using wood and things like that, I'm focusing right now just on like first clearing out the area and getting the size of everything. Like, yeah, I think this is a good enough room, room size. And then like, for example, I'm testing out the idea. Like my idea was that you, I would have like this kind of layered 
layer thing where it goes first one layer and then another layer uh, and like the this is very easy to like edit like I'm not filling anything in it's very easy to just like oh I want this a bit lower okay then I just do it a bit lower I'm also not worrying about the back side I'm just doing like the main front view and this way I can test I can prototype my idea and my goal essentially before before I actually commit too, uh, too much to it. Because once you've like, well, committed a bunch of time, the worst feeling is when you have to like redo it or undo it or scrap what you're doing. That's not very nice. At least not to me. <laughs> uh, so yeah, like for example, now I can get a feeling for this kind of shape. And I'm thinking like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Like I'm thinking like, I feel like this roof isn't really working. Like something's a bit off, but I can notice these things now instead of having to rebuild stuff later once I've detailed and once I've spent a bunch of time doing something. I just found something. I found something kind of funny. Uh, I can place blocks like this and get trapped in the blocks. I don't, I did not know I could do this. I guess like, and now I'm stuck. I'm <laughs> I don't take any damage or anything, but I'm just like, hello, I am a wall now. <laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> but yeah, I'm kind of happy with with this shape. So I think I'm actually going to start start building this into a proper thing. Uh, and actually... Oh, what? There. And actually... Yeah, change out some blocks and make it a bit, little bit, a bit more proper. So I'm thinking that this kind of... Like the acacia, acacia wood could look kind of nice. Let's see. Yeah, I'm thinking like something like this could work, and then having, uh, let's see, oh, having some of these could work quite well. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think this looks this looks pretty nice. I'm gonna see if I can do something with the with the roof as well. All right, so now I've added in the actual like roof part of it as well. Oh, <laughs> there's a there's a little staircase here. Wow, uh, but yeah, I've added in the the roof, and I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking it'd be like looking good. It'd be looking good. Like we have. Yeah, I think. Okay, this is not the most like detailed thing in the world, and I don't feel like it's like. I, I don't know, it's, it's something in my, like, I, I'd like want to change something about it, maybe? I, no, actually. Like, before I was like, ah, something feels a bit off. Like, you know how I talked about, like, this prototyping thing? Like, I was thinking, like, okay, I'm gonna have to change something, because this not, it's not feeling too good. But what's I added in the rest? It's actually kind of nice. I think it has been looking good. Like, like, it's very simple, but it got a style to it, and I like that style. But yeah, so I have added, I added, like, the thing go around here. It go back. It go by, go by the butterfly. I don't. Th I think this. Is a I don't. I don't think this. Uh, it's a new light, so I think it's a butterfly, not a firefly. Um, and yeah, it goes around like that. And I think it looks kind of nice. I added this little detail in the middle there, which is just. It's just like placing like that, that, and then having like. Uh, that and then like that and then well an another one of these there uh, but I think that looks kind of good so the, ex the exterior is kind of done uh, I think I think this exterior is kind of nice um, <laughs> might want to change out like the landscaping a little bit but but yeah so I'm thinking like we're gonna go do something about this interior now so yeah see what I can what I can throw together I think I might actually be done. Uh, I built a little interior. I built a little stuff, and actually, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show it to you. So let's see. We walk around the corner, and here we have the temple. A little a temple, a thing, and like uh, the exterior. I put some plants around. I put some plants around, and then here is the actual interior. It's a bit cryptic, I guess. It's, a, it's not very clear what's going on. I'm thinking like this might be some symbolism for some 
creature or something. I don't know. This is some symbolism as well. Uh, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, I think it looks alright. It looks pretty good. It looks good enough. And then, whenever we die, we ha take our bones. We have some dirt. And we just dig up here. Let's see. Then down here is, I'm thinking, where we put the bones. So I'm gonna just fill down. And then I'm gonna put... I died once. I died twice. Or oh, I want this to be rotated. Uh, yeah, like that. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, and then... Well, uh, we put... Just, we should just fill up, fill this up again. And then now we have a place to store our dead, dead bones, our b bone deads. Uh, but, but yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Um, I think this is, this is what I made. This is what I've done. Um, if you like this, maybe leave a little, <laughs> leave a little like. If you didn't like it, maybe leave a little dislike. Write in the comments what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. Any suggestions for anything in the future you want me to do or build. I'm very up for suggestions. I think suggestions are very, very cool. Uh, but yeah, I think other than that, other than this, I don't really have anything that I else that I want to say or that I want to do. So, um, well, until next time, bye.